great to be with you, Peter Balvesey, cardiologist. Now, we know a common condition in the community is that of dementia. I bet you many of you have had loved ones that have gone through this difficult condition. Personally, I've had uh, my father, my late father, who passed away a couple of years ago now, at the age of uh, about 82, with dementia in the last few years of his life. And um, the quality of life was very, very restricted. And it's a condition that just develops over often months and years and leads to significant debility in the community. Now, the leading causes of dementia, well, there are many, and Alzheimer's disease is one of the conditions, but also vascular dementia is another one whereby the small, tiny vessels of our brain develop plaque or cholesterol blockages, and they can cause these mini little strokes and affect the blood flow, and then can lead to a memory decline. But dementia is, as I said, a common condition, and there has been a recent study that shows potentially the link of blood pressure and dementia. So let's explore this in some detail. Now, as I said, dementia is a common condition and often happens as we age, but we hear stories of younger people who develop cognitive decline and memory issues. It's a complex condition, and I'm certainly not an expert in dementia, and I rely on many of my colleagues, neurologists and aged care physicians who manage dementia on a day-to-day -day basis. But there has been a recent study to show the importance of potentially keeping your blood pressure in check and lower, potentially translating into a lower incidence of developing cognitive issues, memory issues, and dementia. And I thought it'd be useful for our audience to just elaborate on this study. There are some limitations with the study, but I feel it's important to put it out there. Now, the study was undertaken in more than 30,000 patients. It was published in Nature Medicine and was undertaken in some rural villages in China. The methodology is extremely sound, and they had a randomized group of patients who had high blood pressure, and essentially they were randomly assigned to having conventional treatment with uh, you know, regular medication and also a more intensive method of lowering blood pressure with medication, with lifestyle uh, changes, and also more health professional input and guidance. Now, in the group that had a more intensive management of their blood pressure, and they managed to receive a 20 millimeters of mercury drop in blood pressure. So blood pressures were normally more than 150 systolic, and they came down quite significantly in the group that had intensive treatment of their blood pressure. And over the course of about four years, there was a lower incidence of developing cognitive problems and dementia in the group that had their blood pressure managed more aggressively. Now, it poses the question about, well, what is the role of blood pressure and dementia? And we know that high blood pressure is a leading cardiovascular risk factor. And the way it causes problems, and rather insidiously without any symptoms, is that it can cause hardening of the arteries as the heart muscle and the vessels are exposed to a higher blood pressure. The wall of the arteries become quite hard. And also there's a higher incidence of plaque formation in these cases. Having high blood pressure often also coexists with diabetes, increased body weight, high levels of cholesterol, and other risk factors like that. So we know it's not often just the one risk factor of high blood pressure, but it is an important one. And we know that having high blood pressure, as I mentioned, can affect the small vessels of our body, in particular in the brain. And we have scans such as MRI scans that are very, very sensitive now at picking up these microscopic changes in the brain that we see in patients who have had high blood pressure over many, many years. And it's often termed chronic deep white matter ischemia. And that just means that it's essentially the tiny, tiny vessels that affect the small microscopic areas of the brain that do get affected, that perhaps have a lower amount of oxygen, and they do develop some form of scarring that can potentially make us more prone to developing dementia in the future. 
it's not to say that dementia is a very simple condition. It's a quite a complex condition. There are many, many factors. But in this study, and, I, and let's just go through that. In this study here, it is, here it is in Nature Medicine. It looked at blood pressure reduction and all-cause dementia in patients with uncontrolled hypertension. And this was a randomized trial. And as we said, so what they looked at is 33,995 patients who are aged more than 40. The aim of the study was to actually control blood pressure to less than 130 millimeters of mercury. And that was supervised with the general physician, with healthcare professionals, with nurses in the community to really hone in on getting the blood pressure as low as possible making sure the patients were on the medication, adhering to lifestyle factors, lowering weight, reducing salt intake, regular exercise, and then 16,500 patients who had usual standard care. And most patients were taking an average of about three medicines to treat blood pressure, and that was compared to about 1.2 as an average medicines that were used in the patients who had the standard blood pressure management. And we know the various uh, medicines that we use for high blood pressure. We've heard of things like ACE inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor blockers, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers. And there are several of these medicines that are actually useful to help control blood pressure when we're not achieving targets with lifestyle changes on their own. And when they followed up these patients, and then they took a series of cognitive assessments undertaken by neurologists who weren't aware of which group the patients had been assigned to in terms of had they been assigned to the aggressively lowering blood pressure group or the standard care. And they found that there was a significant reduction in dementia over the course of four years. So there are several limitations, of course, to the study, but I think it really highlights that in a large population of patients, the role of blood pressure is important. Lowering blood pressure not only helps reduce the risk of cardiac disease, heart attacks, strokes, but also has an impact in potentially lowering the risk of dementia. So again, it's an important study that I think was well performed. We no doubt need further studies to confirm the impact. And dementia, as I said, is a rather complex condition with many, many causes, but each of us have been touched by somebody in our family and friends that have had dementia or have gone through this, and we know how difficult it is. And I think there have been some great innovations in tackling dementia with certain therapies that help reduce the progression of dementia. But potentially, lowering blood pressure considerably may also be a great benefit to help reduce the incidence of this condition. So important, obviously, to keep an eye on blood pressure. Know your numbers is what I tell my patients. You know, go to, go to your family doctor, have your blood pressure checked, go to your pharmacist, go to your health, health center, invest in a blood pressure machine, just to know what your numbers are. And if we're not able to achieve appropriate therapy, you know, lowering of blood pressure by walking, losing a bit of weight, you know, a kilogram of weight, for example, will help lower blood pressure by four or five millimeters at least. And that's a great, great benefit. And the, and the benefits are far beyond just the blood pressure. Breathing becomes better. We become less short of breath. There's a lower risk of sleep apnea. So it's an important, important thing to get on top of. High blood pressure, managing it potentially lowers the risk of dementia. Hopefully you found that useful. Until the next video, bye for now.